Okay, so in this video what we're going to do is we're going to show how to extract data from the web browser control once you go to a web page. So I'm going to go on and stick with method 1. I have changed the website to cnn.com and using method 1 I'm going to go on and first click that. And once the web page loads we have all our code right here. I'm actually going to copy all of this and put it into a notepad. and that way I can close this out and that way I can see what I'm going to be working with so first off there is no easy way to query this query this information and then extract specific pieces that you want I mean of course like in a previous video I showed how you can query data using the data tab you can do from other sources or from the web but that does have its restrictions. If you really need to dig into something manually, this is one way to do it. You'll have using the web browser control or the Internet Explorer dot application, you can query the HTML and from here extract data. So in this case, let's just say that we wanted to obtain all of the URL links, which if you have a basic understanding of HTML, it's generally the a href tag but so in this case we're going to be looking for href equals and then the quotation mark so let's go on and get started here put us into design mode and click method one I'm going to eliminate this and I'm going to put the HTML code equals and then sheet one dot web browser one dot document dot body dot enter html okay so one of the first things that we're going to want to do is see if the code we're looking for in this case the href tag exists so we're going to put if instr the html code and we're looking for href if that's greater than zero then message box OK. INSTR will give you the position of where the string occurs in the string that we're looking at. So I'm going to play this real quick. I'm going to press the play button. And we get message box OK. So we're good. The href string is available in there. And what I want to show you, we'll do message box INSTR href. So this should tell us the position of where the href is located. It's the 6,573. The position is 6,573 characters into the code. So let's do this. We'll call that start of href. Okay, and we'll put if the start of href is greater than zero, then, and then we'll execute code in here, just pretty much saying that we found href, so we, let's try to extract it now. So from what we saw, it's href, and then equals, and then char 34, which is the quotation. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, six characters. So let's do this. the URL equals MID so we're gonna cut the string the HTML code and what we're gonna do is do the start of href plus six and then we'll do the length of the HTML code and we'll do message box the URL just for right now we'll play this code out I'm going to ignore this script hit yes 
So everything is looking good so far. After href equals and then the quotation mark, we see that the link is just the forward slash and then a close quotation mark. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to look for chart 34, which is the quotation mark, and that's where we will end the URL. So I'm just going to hit OK right here, go to my code. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the URL equals MID. And we're not going to use the HTML code. Instead, we're going to use the URL because that's the, the string that we're already assigning to getting the URL. We'll put start position equals is equal to one because we're already at the start of the link. And then we're going to go to INSTR. We're going to put the URL. We'll do comma. We're looking for chart 34, which is the quotation mark. And that's actually the length. That's going to be the end length of the URL. So now we're going to do message box the URL. And we need to subtract one. But I mean, we're pretty much almost there. So we're going up to one start position and then the end position so here we should actually subtract one and now we should have the URL there you have it that's the first URL so now this is what we're gonna do now that we have this URL we want to remove it from the original HTML code so I'm gonna kinda move this up here the HTML code equals MID the HTML code and all we're gonna do is we're just gonna put the start of href plus six all this is going to do is remove the first href that we see plus go over six characters which that really doesn't matter if we put that six there or not all because the next time that we loop this code around it's only going to be looking for the href equals which will not be there anymore this should just be the length of the HTML code keep in mind what MID is MID is you put the string that you want it, that you're working with and you're gonna put the start position of where you want to keep the code and the end position as to where you want to stop so in this case the start of href we saw earlier in the video that it was about somewhere in the 6000 position so we're gonna remove the first 6000 characters plus move six over and we're still leaving the the end position to be the length of the HTML code which will take us all the way to the end of the document So now once this is completed, this portion right here, the HTML code is going to be is now going to be all of the HTML code minus the first 6,000 characters that or wherever it was that the href was first located. The URL should not be changed. We're just going to play the code again. We still have the forward slash. So now this is what we're going to do. I'm going to assign output row. I'm going to put the output row is equal to 1. And I'm going to do a do do events. And I'm going to do a loop until start of href is equal to 0, so meaning it doesn't exist anymore. And this is what we're going to do. I'm going to output this to sheet 2 sheet to that range and I'm gonna put a and the output row is equal to and then the URL and we're just gonna put message box complete and we're gonna play this code out complete and go to sheet 2 Sheet 2, we have all of the tags that were located within 
href equals and they're all listed right here we can scroll down through them all and there's a whole bunch so these are all the links that were available on the CNN page and let me just kind of show you again the way we did that in the code I'm going to recap the code to you first I guess I can delete these codes right here all the output row I did right here is I set that equal to one and I created a do loop here first off in the do loop, we're waiting until the start of href is equal to zero. The, the start of href, all that was is that we're looking at the HTML code for href. If for any reason this is not found, then the loop will quit because that's that's equal to zero. This code will only execute if the start of href is greater than zero. So this code will not execute if we don't see an href in there. If href is in there, that means that we that's a link. We want to extract it. We start off with this code right here. the URL is equal to MID and then what we're looking at is the HTML code we want to get the start position of href and we want to move 6 over the reason why the 6 is there is because href is 4 characters the equal sign would be the 5th character and the beginning quotation mark would be the 6th character so all we're doing is we're eliminating the href, the equals and the and the quotation mark and then we're going all the way to the end of the HTML document the HTML document, we modify that so that we get rid of that href. That way we, we're pretty much getting rid of that, that link. And that way the next time the loop goes around, we'll now have the next href in there if there, that string is available. To continue getting the URL, re, uh, remember now we, we have the beginning of it, but now we also have the end of the HTML document. We want to get rid of that. So we set the start position is one because we we already have the beginning of the URL but now we're going to eliminate the rest of the HTML document that we don't need after character 34 which character 34 again was the quotation mark and all we did is on sheet 2 column A in the output row where all we're outputting is the URL and the reason why we see it show up on multiple rows is because in the do loop that we have right here we add one to the output row on every single loop. Now all this code that is right here, you can put that into command button two, if you like it, if you would like to, and just slightly change some of the code. The HTML code, instead of it being sheet one dot web browser one dot document, it would simply be internet window dot document dot body dot enter HTML. Again, this is one way to manually retrieve data from the HTML code uh, using the web browser control or using Internet Explorer that application. The more familiar you are with string functions, you know, the better you'll be able to extract this data. I hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching.